Welcome to Sliced Red Deer, season number two. All in support of the Women's Outreach Center. I'm Vinny Taylor from 100.7 Cruise FM. I'll be your host tonight as two chefs go head-to-head -head in this kitchen at RDC and battle it out in the ultimate culinary competition. But it's not going to be easy because each chef will have to incorporate three mystery ingredients into their dishes. Do they have what it takes? Will they crack under the pressure? We're about to find out. Coming up, we'll unveil those three mystery ingredients and we'll find out just who's got what it takes to win this whole thing tonight and make it to the finale on March 22nd and eventually become champion of Sliced Red Deer Season 2. Two local competitors think they have what it takes to become Sliced Red Deer champion. Let's meet tonight's chefs. First off, Chef Granger. My name is Christopher Granger. I work for the Red Boar Smokery. I was actually wanting to be a professional snowboarder back in the early 90s and uh, all these ski resorts towns I went to were always looking for cooks. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'll, I'll start doing that. And I actually fell in love with it. I have seven sisters. If any of them would need any help somewhere, an outreach center is fantastic outlet for uh, women in need. Next up, Chef Jarrett. My name's Jarrett Talbot, and I work for Meathead True Food and Drink. My mom got me into cooking when I was about uh, 13 years old, 14 years old. Uh, started there and uh, haven't looked back since. Women's outreach is a great cause. It's, it's great for people to be aware of what's going on in the world, and uh, right now I think this is a, a, a time of need for, for what we do, so um, being a part of it's a, a special thing for me, and uh, especially for Meathead as well. Chef Granger, Chef Jarrett, welcome to Sliced Red Deer, season number two. Your mission tonight is to make a dish and incorporate three mystery ingredients. Are you ready for the challenge? Ready to see what your mystery ingredients are? Feel free to lift the lids. Interesting combination. Tonight, you will both be working with watermelon, baked beans, and espresso balsamic vinegar. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. You have 75 minutes to complete the mission, and your time starts right now. I know what we're doing with this. Our two chefs are busy in the kitchen right now. They've got 75 minutes to complete their dish and incorporate all three mystery ingredients. Of course, they'll be judged tonight. Let's meet our judges at the table. We start off with last year's champion. And that led to an appearance on Chop Canada, which is coming up later on this month. He is a chef. He is the co-owner of Sopir and Red Deer. It's Pete Sock. Next up, she was a contestant on season number one of MasterChef Canada and cooked her way all the way to top 11 from Rocky. It's the one and only Dora Cote. Thank you. And finally, last but not least, we're cooking up a storm in his kitchen tonight. He's the instructor of the RDC Cook Apprenticeship Program. It's Garnet Shetler. Tonight we're in the kitchen of RDC. It's sliced red deer, season number two. And while the cooks are busy battling it out, we also got to remind you that we're here for a very worthy cause, and that is to support the Women's Outreach Center of Central Alberta, who have been going strong now for 30 years, and support men, women, and children who are affected by domestic violence. Here to tell you more about some of the great programs they offer is the Executive Director, Barb Barber. Support groups bring people together who are facing similar challenges. 
Whether it is domestic violence, relationship problems, loss, or major life changes, it can be helpful just getting to talk with other people who are in the same situation and provide support to help you cope better and feel less isolated as you make connections with others. At the Outreach, we deliver four groups. Women's Drop-In. This group is designed for women who are affected by domestic violence, which provides education information and strategies for coping with abuse. Boundaries. This group provides support to women wanting to learn about creating or maintaining healthy boundaries. Participants will learn new tools to identify and assert healthy boundaries in their lives. Kid Power. This group has two components, a play therapy group for children who have been affected or witnessed domestic violence and a separate educational group for parents to learn strategies and skills as the family moves towards healing. Men's Support Group is a program that focuses on therapeutic change for men who want to be a part of a healthy relationship and have a non-abusive future. The group addresses issues of abuse in intimate relationships and offers methods of coping with its effects.